Welcome to module one, finding success as a postdoc. Some of the themes that are covered in this module are things like joining a new community of practice and setting expectations with your mentor, which are two really important components of success for any postdoc. But of course, the two look and feel pretty different for new postdocs in this Zoom environment. And yet I had postdoc orientation last week at BU. We still have postdocs starting new positions every month and potentially every week. And so I just want to open up the floor to all of you. This is such a different time to start a postdoc. And what advice would you have for entering postdocs in terms of how can they join communities? How can they connect to other people? Um, yeah, any advice you all have? I think the first thing to say is congratulations on having a postdoc right now um, with the, the world and everything being so uncertain. It's amazing that you're employed and you get to keep doing your research. And so that's like congratulations and be happy about that first. Yeah, I would like to echo as well that I think it's really important to celebrate some of those successes and, and not take for granted the, the things that we do still have and to really use this opportunity as well to reflect and, and kind of set your own internal expectations, right? And from a resources perspective, I think, you know, things don't change from, from a communication, right? So it's really important for you to maintain that level of communication with your team. And there are numerous resources and ways to do that. Um, Zoom being, obviously being one of those, I, I would highly recommend to continue to maintain and have these Zoom-like meetings with your, with your research team. But even other, other areas that kind of expedite the chat discussion. So like my team has recently employed Slack as a really great resource to be able to communicate amongst your team with different projects. And I think that that's another great way for you to be able to try and kind of maintain some of that productivity. And I'm so glad you said Slack because there's a postdoc academy Slack um, and some of your institutions may also have Slack channels for postdocs. Um, any other ideas or advice? Yeah, I wanted to echo what Jonathan said. I think you should just take a moment to breathe and clear your head because None of us had the opportunity to spend time to just think about your research, get yourself acclimated to your new environment, even though it's a little bit hard, but you can still take walks outside. You can, um, I guess you'll get to know your grocery stores, local grocery stores very well, but it also gives you an opportunity to, um, you know, connect with your family, things that you haven't been able to do as a graduate student. Um, or doing your first po during your first postdoc. So this really gives you an opportunity to clear your head, take a moment to reflect where you were and how you want to build, build your new future, as well as just embrace where we are. It's crazy, but it gives you an opportunity to volunteer so that it opens up opportunity to meet new people and uh, also to build community that way. And then check your, your postdoc uh, bulletins. They're sending out emails all the time because everything now is online. So it gives you an opportunity to clean your emails, go through them, read them and get acclimated uh, in this new environment because you know those are things we can do so that when we get started again, we're organized and ready, ready to go. One, one final thing um, I will add on expectations. Um, I think setting expectations with ourselves is really important. Um, and also setting expectations with our team and with our uh, main supervisor and, and our mentors. I think this is um, more, than, more than usually um, quite the opportunity for us to sit down and have uh, candid conversations about what is expected when um, and how those expectations are adjusted due to the current situation. A lot of us will be working at home with children. A lot of us will be working at home with family, some of us might not have as easy access to internet. And I think in terms of setting the scene with our supervisors as to what those expectations are um, that are both realistic for the team as well as for us, it's really important to sit down and have those conversations. And I know there's some really great tools um, here um, provided to, to do that. Yeah, I think that's really important. And that's true, not just for new postdocs, but even you know, put people who have been postdocs for quite a long time where you may have had one expectation and maybe you did start and head down on your research for a really long time. And now something in this situation has changed for you. And I'm curious for, since many of you have been in your postdocs um, for longer periods of time, how has your postdoc changed? And maybe it's what you're working on or maybe it's how you're thinking about it, but how has that changed for you now? I mean, I'll just say that, you know, not much has changed for me. Um, 
a lot of our work for Postdoc Academy is with a remote team. And so what's changed is the, um, you know, the random office conversations and walks around campus, um, in-person events. But I think that having it all online and a similar office environment online, you know, where we have community lunch once a week and we have a coffee chat once a week, it's kind of keeping that, those interactions consistent. I had a really hard time focusing and, and like actually thinking about doing work for the pa first couple of weeks of the pandemic and working from home was a hard transition. And I had family who were sick, who I was concerned about and just a lot of things up in the air. And so it was an opportunity slash I was forced to be a lot more vulnerable with my um, supervisor than perhaps I would have liked to be just because I needed to explain, you know, why I wasn't getting the things I wanted to get done finished. And, and so it was a, a good time for her to get to see me as more of a person than just somebody who's in the lab. And also an opportunity for me to think about, you know, what am I doing and how can I do it better? And what is like actually fundamental to my postdoc and needs to get done? And what are sort of things that I can take a breath on and, you know, think about other things and other ways that I might be better spending my time so that I can still be a functioning human being beyond being a postdoc trying to get things done in a crazy pandemic world. I, I'm really happy you touched on that, Erin, and I'm really happy to hear that, you know, you were able to find, even if you were forced to kind of open up and, and share some of those vul vulnerabilities, and hopefully something we can take moving forward, that it is okay to be to be human, to talk about that I, I'm, you know, I'm just not feeling as motivated this week, or I just haven't been able to get as much done. And it's okay to realize that and to, to communicate that, right? I was like you for like the first two weeks where I was just like, couldn't figure out what was going on. Was this going to be like a one week thing or like forever for like being in the house and making that adjustment. And then I would watch the news and then that wouldn't help. And then I started to like find my new normal. And that includes like, you know, there's a yoga class that now I can take online at 12 o'clock that I never did before or um, there's different meditation the, um, um, sessions that uh, the university was providing as well as stuff that like uh, you can find online on YouTube. And then I started trying to pick up a new language and so which is just coding, uh, some informatics stuff. So I'm doing things that um, in the lab I probably wouldn't have been able to do because I would have been so focused on rushing to get experiments done and trying to get papers and so it really after I settled in and calmed down which really took more like two weeks or so realized that I had enough toilet paper paper towels I was good for like six months <laughs> then <laughs> it became okay now what am I going to do and then I've just been finding things to add into the day to give me that real work-life balance that I didn't have uh, as a postdoc. So I'm hoping that this is something, a new routine that I can keep going um, once we um, are able to go back into the lab and our lives go back to some sort of normal. So.